Hey everybody, so welcome again to another issue of uh, Fish in the Back Country. I actually just stopped over here at Jurassic Island because I saw a bunch of fish jump in and I don't know if you can see them very well, but there's a big, big school, two, three hundred uh, mullet there. They look to be small to medium, well I'd say probably, yeah, small to mediums. So I think I'm going to throw the net here, pick up about four or five. Uh, I was originally going to stop and make this introduction to say, well, I don't know what I'm going to do today, but I figure I'll let the bait choices dictate what I do today. So I'm going to stop here, throw the net, hopefully uh, pick up four or five of these nice mullet, and then head out to the channels, drift them a bit, and just see what we get into. I'm thinking uh, a lot of these are going to get chomped up by barracudas, but they're here, they're quick, and I should be able to get some more down the road. So let's get going. All right, let's get ready to throw on these guys. I got the uh, glass minnow net today because I was thinking about hitting some pilchards. There's a couple. Well, I found the bait spot. Got pilchards, glass minnows, and mullet all in like one spot. Look at all of them. Parting them with seas of mullet. See all the dimples from the bait there. With all that bait there, I figure we'll hang around here and play a little bit. Got the mullet. I put wire on here, so I figure there's going to be some toothy critters around. That would love to have a free swimming mullet just uh, show up out there in the middle of the current. So, see if that uh, entices anything. Uh, there's a cooter right there. Oh, oh, there's, ooh, got it, got it, running with it, running with it. Got to wait for him to eat it. He's just holding on to it. Gotta eat it, eat it. Oh, got nervous about it. Oh, dang it. He swallowed it. And then ate the water. No, he just pulled it off. Yes, stinker. Dang it. All right, this is my third and last mullet before I convert to pilchards, I think, unless I got totally screwed on this one. The second one, they actually, uh, it grabbed it, I hooked up, but I had my uh, drag locked down because I thought I would take him inside and he went outside and popped it off and just snapped the line. So, last mullet, looking for a big old barracuda. All right, I think we've got it. There we go. Oh no. I think that's a shark. Dang it. Oh. Bow to the Barracuda King. What? Oh, he's all pissed off the. I just pulled it out. Crap. Maybe I'm going to net more <laughs> mullet. I'm not done with these guys yet. Over for three. Crap. All right, I cast netted one. Pretty good size one here, so if something... Ugh. The cuda gets that one, it's going to be a jumbo cuda. That's what I want. <laughs> Oop, something was already... Smashing at it. Swimming back there. Oh no, 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 no! Let go! Ah, oh, you son of a. Damn fish hawks! Mine! Ah, oh, man! I got casting at him again! Oh, 
It's all laughing at me. All right, we're gonna try this again. You don't know how much of a hassle it has been to try to catch these stupid mullet with the gloss minnow net. Just not very effective. All right, I think we've got one on. Or did I catch that tree? Ah, oh, dang it. I did. I'm giving up on the mullet and I'm switching over to pilchards. Hopefully they're still around. Sun's getting down so things tend to scatter, but hopefully I can get some. All right, let's grab some of these pilchards. Since I can't catch mullet, I know I can get pilchards. There we go. Not huge ones, but that'll work for now. All right, let's drop those guys off and see what happens. Man, I have been having a rough day. And it all comes down bringing the wrong net. That glass minnow net is not good for mullet. It just catches the wind, it folds up, sinks real slow so they could they just take off. I think I was averaging five throws for each mullet. And then I couldn't even use those in the right way to catch those uh, kudas. So I did get some uh, pilchers. I got a, I don't know, 20 or so. And uh, I'm anchored out in this channel. As you can see, the sun is setting. And the whole reason why I want to do is just kind of so I could watch this whole area and see if that situation happens out here as well where the uh, the mullet and all that bait that I've been playing with will come from the other side of the island here and come out into this uh, channel once that sun comes down and then see what kind of activity it brings if there's big tarpon comes or not. Uh, Shark Channel's a little different in that that is the only outlet that narrows down and otherwise it's land. So uh, here it's just wide open, so I don't have a concentrated effort, but I'm going to play around here and just catch some little stuff while I'm waiting and see what shows up after dark. All right. Something, finally a fish. Oh, don't get stuck on something down there. Oh, frog! The heck? Cut me off, son of a, this day sucks. All right, I am putting a fork in it. This is gonna go down as the worst fishing day in 2018. Oh, it was horrible. I don't know what the deal is, but man, not good. Well, look at all the worms and stuff. That's like the Palola worm hatch. Just smaller ones. Hey, shrimp. Eat you. But uh, anyways, yeah, it all came down to that wrong net. Trying to throw a glass minnow net uh, after a spooky mullet is just not good. Catches in the wind, you can't throw it far, you can't throw it fast. It sinks slow and it just pisses you off. I was getting basically one mullet for every five throws and that's with having to get in perfect position and coming back and oh just frustrated. Then those barracudas and that stupid bird. Oh. oh my blood pressure is up. But I'm still out here. Sunset's gone, horizon's gone, it's pitch black and there is absolutely nothing going on except lots and lots of bugs. Wow. And with all that, no feeding, no jumping, nothing. So stick a fork in that and uh, backcountry nighttime fishing, nah, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next video and it shall be better. Bye.
Man, look at all the shrimp. And they're not getting pounded by a tarpon or snappers or anything. Man, look at that activity.